We are sure you are very excited to be attending your graduation ceremony today. In a short while, we will play a short graduation briefing video to ensure you are ready for this graduation ceremony. Please leave all your personal belongings under your seat before you line up to receive your awards on stage. And do remember to collect them again as soon as you return to your seats. We have an official photographer who is seated in front of the stage who will take stage photos of all graduates. So please remember to pause and face the camera when receiving your award. Could our photographer please stand and identify himself? There you are, ladies and gentlemen, our graduates. There's our photographer. Please be sure to pause and face the photographer. All right, and look into the lens of the camera, not his flashlight. <clears throat> I would also like to brief you on some safety features of this auditorium. In case of an emergency requiring evacuation, please listen carefully to our emergency response team who will instruct you appropriately and will be on hand to ensure everyone exits in a calm and orderly manner and guide you to the assembly point. Lastly, as you will have to negotiate many steps as you make your way to and from the stage, please take your time and watch your step. Thank you, graduates. And now to the video. Hey you, in the hat. On behalf of Curtin University, we'd just like to say how incredibly proud we are of each and every one of you. Uni isn't easy, it's not supposed to be. But now you're through to the other side, we truly hope you can say you've had a wonderful time. So let's graduate. First, we'll run through a few hot tips for the big day ahead. Before we begin this incredibly special, memorable day, could we ensure your phone is off or at least on silent? please make sure you are sitting in your allocated seat according to your graduate ticket. Once you arrive at your seat, if you notice you are in fact at the wrong seat, speak with one of our friendly ushers who will be able to assist you. It is crucial that you are in the correct seat so you will be called up on stage in the correct order. Once the ceremony begins, you'll be asked to stand for the national anthem. It is also an appropriate gesture to remove your mortarboard for the national anthem. As you wait in line, an usher will check off your name. We will also check your regalia is on correctly. Firstly, your mortarboard should be parallel to the floor. The small point should be at the front. The tassel should hang on the left-hand side of your face. Your regalia should end up looking like this. Please wait at the top of the ramp until your name is called. When your name is called, walk towards the Chancellor. When you reach the Chancellor, you doff or tip your mortarboard to acknowledge them. You doff by touching your mortarboard with your right hand and a slight bow. Your award will now be handed to you by the Chancellor. You will both be holding your award like this while your official photo with the Chancellor is taken. We ask that you do not shake hands in order to protect the health of yourself and others. It's now time for you to follow our directions and head back to your original seat. Please remain in your seat until the end of the ceremony to receive the Chancellor's charge to graduates. While seated, remember to take a look around. Soak in the atmosphere and quietly reflect on the early mornings, late nights and hard work it took for you now to be sitting amongst your peers as a graduate of Curtin University. Enjoy your ceremony and congratulations to you all. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me and stand for the academic procession.
Please sit. Good morning and a very warm welcome to all of you. My name is Nicholas Leon and I will be your host for this ceremony. Today we will enjoy a wonderful celebration for our graduates, their family and friends. The graduates that cross the stage have worked hard for their award and in doing so, they have earned our congratulations and our respect. You will notice some of our graduates are wearing special colorful cords on their regalia. This signifies they are members of the vice chancellor's list. These graduates have achieved results that place them in the top 1% of their course, which is a very impressive achievement indeed. And you will notice as all our graduates cross the stage that they doff their caps to the chancellor as a traditional mark of respect. Our last graduate across the stage today will have been waiting the longest to hear his name called. So when you see our last graduate, who's called Gavin Gun Wen Jun, Gavin, would you please stand up? There you are, ladies and gentlemen. That's Gavin. Don't forget to give him a huge round of applause. So let's practice that applause, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. And at Curtin, we hold core to our mission, the advancement of knowledge and the enrichment of culture. We are deeply committed to cultural diversity, informed respect, and the principles of ethics and social justice. Would you now please stand, ladies and gentlemen, for the national anthems of Malaysia and Australia, Nagaraku and Advance Australia Fair.
Ladies and gentlemen, I would now like to invite the Curtin Vice Chancellor, Professor Harleen Hain, to the lectern. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. On behalf of the Chancellor, the Council, and members of staff, I am delighted to welcome you to this graduation ceremony. I would also like to welcome Yang Rebahagi Datuk Patingi Tan Sri Dr. George Chen Nom, who will deliver today's keynote address. It's a great honor to be here in Miri for what is going to be a wonderful celebration for our graduates and their family and friends. On behalf of Curtin, I would like to extend my warmest congratulations to all of our graduates. Now, as you will see, the graduates in the stage party are wearing some special clothing. These robes date back to the Middle Ages, when university teachers and students used to wear them in the classroom. Today, the academic regalia that we are all wearing is reserved for special occasions like graduation. So essentially, whenever you see us dressed like this, you know that something special is about to happen. Graduates, today is a day for celebration. We have all gathered here to celebrate you. Members of the university community, join with your family and your friends to acknowledge and celebrate your hard work and dedication. Today, you have the right to feel very proud of what you have achieved. But I also want you to feel proud of your university. We are fortunate here at Curtin. Our university bears the name of Australia's 14th Prime Minister, the Honorable John Curtin, who led Australia through the turmoil of World War II. John Curtin was not a man of privilege. He was the shy son of working class Irish immigrants. He left school at the age of 13, and his path to politics was not an easy one. He was elected to the House of Representatives in 1928, but it took him four tries to get there. He became Prime Minister in 1941, and to this day, John Curtin remains Australia's most trusted Prime Minister. Much has been written about John Curtin, but for me, my greatest understanding of the man comes from his own words. So today, as you graduate from Curtin University, I want to share some of those words with you. John Curtin once said, above all things, the university must have a soul. In it, the divine spirit of service and sacrifice for service should pervade all of its works. He also said, the great university should find its heroes in the present and its hope in the future. So as each of you embark on the next step of your amazing life journey today, please take John Curtin's wise words with you. Nurture your soul, make sacrifices, serve others, and be the heroes that we need for the future. As graduates of Curtin University, I am confident that you will use your time, your talent, and your world-class education to make a difference in the world in which we all live. I wish you the very best. Congratulations. I'd now like to invite Curtin Chancellor, Dr. Andrew Crane, um, to step forward for the presentation of awards. Now today's ceremonies here in Miri marks Dr. Crane's final participation in a Curtin Malaysia graduation ceremony as the Chancellor of Curtin University. Dr. Crane assumed the role of Chancellor on the 1st of January, 2019, and he has been pivotal in keeping us moving, particularly during the COVID pandemic. His commitment to Curtin students, research, and staff across all of our campuses has been unwavering, and he demonstrates Curtin's values in absolutely everything he does. Please join me in thanking Dr. Andrew Crane for his outstanding contributions and for being such a wonderful chancellor. I would also now like to invite um, Professor Simon Lennig, Pro Vice Chancellor and President and Chief Executive of Curtin Malaysia, to present this ceremony's higher degrees by research.
Thank you, Vice-Chancellor. To qualify for a higher degree by research of this university, a candidate is required to undertake supervised research and submit a thesis. The thesis must demonstrate a substantial contribution to the understanding of the field of study. The recognised contribution can include the discovery of new knowledge, original theories, or innovative reinterpretation of known data and established ideas. The thesis is examined independently by two distinguished scholars. The stringent examination process subjects the candidate's work to evaluation at the highest level, ensuring that the recipient of a Curtin University higher degree by research has demonstrated the ability to carry out successful research of international standing. I ask you to hold your applause until I have finished reading the title of the thesis. Chancellor, it is my pleasure to present the following graduate of higher degrees by research. Chancellor, for the award of Master of Philosophy, Economics and Finance, I present to you Mr. Wong Xian Xiao Augustine, who wrote a thesis titled the impact of financial inclusion on economic growth, poverty and income inequality in selected ASEAN countries the, and the role, of, uh, the, the role of financial innovation. It was supervised by Dr. Abby Phillip and Dr. Ramez Badeep. Chancellor Wong Jian Zhao Augustine. Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of High Degrees by Research for this ceremony. I now invite Professor Pauline Ho, our Dean of the Faculty of Business, to the lectern for the presentation of awards. Chancellor, it is my pleasure to introduce the following graduates from the Faculty of Business. Bachelor of Commerce, Accounting and Banking, Law Kersing. <laughs> Bachelor of Commerce, Accounting and Entrepreneurship, Chen Di Ling. Adeline Lao Sing Yi. <clears throat> Eric Bung Kiang Yi. Bachelor of Commerce, Accounting and Finance, with distinction and member of the Vice Chancellor list, Calvin Lu Yu Zi. <clears throat> with distinction, Deng Zhu Wei. With distinction and member of the Vice Chancellor list, Julina Wong Xie Xian. <clears throat> member of the Vice Chancellor list, Chiu Ching Han. <clears throat> Chiu So Yi. Chua Chao Xian. <clears throat> Beatrice Chung Ang Yi. <clears throat> Fang Meng Xiao.
，老理解。莫灰美，康都杰·蒙巴，恩·真勇。Nora Shikin, I need Binti Rambly. Siu Xiang Ying. Tang Ka Ning. To Wei Kiong, Bonnie Wong E Wang, Wong Xiao Wei, Yo Ti Shen, Cindy Yong Jing, Cindy Yong Xing Ying Lin Daing. Bachelor of Commerce, Accounting, Rubaya Chowdhury Rob. <laughs> Bachelor of Commerce, Banking and Finance, with distinction and member of the Vice Chancellor list, Ching Zi Ti. <laughs> Bachelor of Commerce, Finance and Management, Hu Lik Wang. Muhammad to help me Shafi Bing Jeffrey. Nicole Eugenia Binti Juling. Mohana Hari Analalaki Mohan. Elden Yo Yon Chuang <laughs> Bachelor of Commerce, Finance and Marketing, Jeremy Chua Yi Siu <laughs> Gang Ming Jian Kelvin Won To Kyung. <laughs> Bachelor of Commerce, Finance, Evelyn Ulao Hendrik. Also receiving graduate certificate in project management, Muhammad Ali Bin Tukanaini. <laughs> Chancellor, that concludes the first presentation of graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce this ceremony's keynote speaker. 
Uh, it is customary at graduation ceremonies. A luminary or public figure who is well respected in the community, has had a distinguished career, or who has played a key role in the advancement of the university, will be invited to deliver the keynote address to graduates. Yamra Bahagia Dr. Patingi Tan Sri Dr. George Chang Hong Nam, Pro Chancellor of Curtin, Malaysia, fits the bill perfectly, having had a distinguished career as a medical practitioner and some 30 years in Sarawak politics, serving in various portfolios in the Sarawak State Cabinet, including the very important role of Deputy Chief Minister until 2011. He also played a key role in the establishment of this campus and, as its pro-chancellor, continues to play a very active role in ensuring its continued growth well into the future. Please join me, ladies and gentlemen, in welcoming Pro-Chancellor of Curtin, Malaysia, Yang Bahagia Dr. Patingi, Tan Sri Dr. George Chan, to the lectern to deliver the keynote address. Thank you. <clears throat> Good morning, everybody. Our Chancellor, Dr. Andrew Ken, our Vice Chancellor, Professor Helen Hans, our Deputy Vice Chancellor, Academic, Professor Paul Gruten, Chair, Curtin Malaysia Management Committee, Dr. Sri. Dr. Lee Kim Shin, Pro, Pro Vice Chancellor, President and Chief Executive of Curtin Malaysia, Professor Simon Looney, members of the Curtin Malaysia Council, Board of Directors and Management Committee, distinguished guests from Perth and Sarawak, senior management, deans and managers of Curtin Malaysia, proud family and friends, and most importantly, graduates. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to be here today as the Pro Chancellor of Curtin Malaysia to share your joy and sense of achievement. I'm deeply honoured to have been asked to address this distinguished gathering of graduates, their families, faculty members, and esteemed guests. First and foremost, I extend my heartfelt congratulations to each and every one of you. Your hard work, dedication, and perseverance brought you to this very moment. You should be immensely proud of the achievement you have made during your time here a cut in Malaysia. Your accomplishments deserve recognition and celebration. And today, we join together to applaud your success. Be proud that you have gained an education from a world-renowned global university and are becoming a proud Curtin graduates. As you embark on your next phase of your life, armed with the knowledge and skills you have acquired here, I implore you to embrace the passions that fuel your ambitions. Pursue your dreams with unwavering determination, for it is true the pursuit of our passions that we flourish and make meaningful contributions to our communities and the world at large. But remember, success is not solely measured by the awards and accolades you may receive. Rather, it is the impact you make on the lives of others that truly defines your success. Use your knowledge and skills not only to further your own personal growth, but also to uplift those around you. Be compassionate, empathetic, and understanding of the diverse world we live in, and let those values guide your actions as you navigate your future endeavors. Today, 
we continue to find ourselves in uncertain times. The world is facing unprecedented challenges that requires innovative solutions. However, I'm confident that as Curtin graduates, you are equipped with the resilience, adaptability, and critical thinking necessary to address these challenges head on. You have been trained not only to excel in your respective fields, but also to think critically, to question convention, and to find creative solutions to complex problems. Remember, learning is a lifelong journey. Your graduation today does not mark the end of your education, but rather the beginning of a new chapter in your pursuit of knowledge. Embrace the opportunities that come your way. Continue to expand your horizons and never stop learning. Seek out mentors, both academic and professional, who can guide and inspire you along the way. I would also like to take a moment to acknowledge and express my gratitude to the faculty and staff of Curtin Malaysia for their unwavering commitment to cultivating an environment of learning and growth. Their dedications to excellence and undoubtedly play a pivotal role in shaping you into the talented individuals you are today. Let us express our appreciation for their efforts. Let us give them a big clap. Okay, one more last piece of advice. Today, you have fulfilled one of your life ambitions. You are a graduate which will allow you to dream bigger dreams. All the great people of the world have, bad, have big dreams. Martin Luther King, he dreamt, I have a dream of equality and freedom. Mohammed Gandhi, he dreamt of an independent India, free from the British rule. Nelson Mandela, he dreamt to be free of appetite. Susan Anthony, she dreamt that women have equal rights. Manala, at her tender age, she dared to dream that every girl has access to education in the world. Elon Musk, his huge dreams of multi-planetary existence for humanity among the stars. All these great people contributed tremendously following the dreams. So today, all I ask you to do is to dream and to dream big. Don't dream small, huh? you know. No use to dream small dream, right? You must dream big so that you can acquire you know, and do great things. With your knowledge, with the things that you have learned from here, I'm sure you can progress much more you know, easily uh, than other people. But forever, forever dream of big things that you can do, not only for your people, but for the world. And that is what we hope in Curtin, that when we set you out, you will be big, you know, big dreamer and that you will achieve big things and that we will all be very proud of you. So go on this first step of your journey and we wish you all the best and God bless you. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Pro-Chancellor, for your inspiring keynote address.
and for sharing this momentous occasion with our graduates today. Your presence today has added immense value to the value of this ceremony, and your words will undoubtedly continue to inspire our graduates as they embark on their future journeys. It is now my pleasure to introduce our valedictorian student, Qin Zhiqi, who will be delivering today's graduation address. Despite facing the challenges of online learning during the pandemic, Zhiqi excelled academically, earning nine dean's lists and three semesters on the vice chancellor's list. She also played a key role in enhancing student life as a member of the student council in 2021. Zhiqi has developed a deep appreciation for the campus and is now pursuing a Master of Philosophy in Economics and Finance with a research focus on cryptocurrency. Please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the lectern, Qin Zhiqi for the ceremony's graduation address. Hi everyone, it's an honor and my pleasure to be here to deliver this speech on this blissful day. I'm sure you are as excited as me to be here. First of all, congratulations on achieving a significant milestone in your life. After years of dedicated effort, today marks the culmination of your hard work. As the day draws to a close, we bid farewell to the comforting and familiar confines of our university. While it signifies the conclusion of one journey, it simultaneously heralds the commencement of a new and exciting chapter. As we move forward, we'll be diving into new experiences beyond what books can teach us and stepping into the professional world that we were unfamiliar with until now. Life will throw challenges our way, but I believe the resilience, problem-solving skills, and knowledge that we gain here at university will help us tackle whatever that comes our way in the future. Our undergraduate experience has been quite different from the usual. Thanks to the pandemic forcing us into two years of online classes, <coughs> excuse me, Two years of online classes. Um, some of us face challenges, having limited social life, missing our friends, and struggling with not so great learning environments. Despite all this, it is a unique experience that has taught us how to adapt to changes. Remember the online class struggles, the unmuted microphones, internet hiccups, and the recorded online PowerPoint presentations. Lecturers doing their best, buying new microphones and webcams, and the watchful eyes of Iris during online examinations. But here's the silver lining. We have learned to use technology for communication, group project, and online virtual event planning, crucial skills in this digital age. We have learned to stay motivated and determined in a setting without the usual positive peer pressure of a physical classroom. We have managed to maintain our mental health through some existing or newfound hobbies while we were confined to limited spaces. All of us have made it through and are here at the graduation, so give yourself a pat on the back. At the Faculty of Business, we were offered numerous majors, and I believe each of us has gained valuable insights in our chosen specialisations to propel us further in our careers. Despite the diversity in majors, each holds its unique significance where a more meaningful outcome can only be achieved if, when individuals with different specialisations collaborate together. Our reasons for choosing majors vary. Some follow parental suggestions, others rely on online research and personality tests, while some prioritise the potential for higher earnings. Regardless of the reasons, what matters most is all of us have preserved through our entire undergraduate degree, completing our studies and arming ourselves with valuable knowledge for the professional world ahead. I would like to share that our learning journey in Curtin University does not have to conclude here. You can consider returning for postgraduate studies, whether it is to advance your career or delve into an academic path. Curtin offers both postgraduate by research and postgraduate by coursework, and in certain cases, you might secure a scholarship and stipend. I would also like to share that um, I'm currently in the midst of my Master of Philosophy and the friends and peers I've encountered along the journey are friendly and diverse. Life, as we navigate through life, it is easy to feel a bit defeated or inadequate as we see others seemingly achieving more. But here's the thing, each person has their own set of problems and goals. What matters most is setting personal goals that truly resonates with you, not because others are doing it, so you feel pressured to follow suit. 
success isn't one size fits all. It's not merely about wealth or specific status. Life extends beyond material achievements and encompasses spiritual well-being. Achievements manifest in diverse ways, be it mental growth, finding contentment, or improved emotional resilience. It might sound very cliche, but here's a very genuine reminder. Ditch the comparisons with others. Instead, compare your journey against your past self and revel in your personal growth. Live life authentically, free from the constant worry about others' perceptions. Take pride in your unique journey. At times, it is completely normal to feel a bit lost about the future. Believe me, many of us go through that same phase, so don't stress out and let those feelings of failure creep in. Reach out to your friends and family, take some time to reflect, and things will slowly clear out as the fog of uncertainty leaves. My sincere wish for all of us is not just financial stability, but emotional well-being in the future. Above all, I hope each of us has the courage and determination to step into a new chapter with personal goals in mind, all the while embracing kindness along the journey. Once again, congratulations, graduates of 2022. A big thank you to Zichi for delivering such a motivational and insightful speech. Your words have resonated deeply, inspiring our fellow graduates to embrace the challenges ahead with resilience, define their own paths, and approach life with courage and kindness. Can I ask everyone to join me once again in thanking Zichi for her graduation address today. Ladies and gentlemen, I now invite the Chancellor and Pro 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 sorry, Professor Pauline Ho back to the lectern to continue the presentation of awards. Chancellor, it is my pleasure to introduce the following graduates from the Faculty of Business. Master of International Business, Aina Omadia Binti Abdulhamid, Diana Corazon Plitao. <laughs> Bachelor of Business Administrations, Lo Liu Lan. <laughs> Lim Chung Kiet. Michelle and Q. Rachel Lita Yaya. Bachelor of Commerce, Entrepreneurship and Marketing of Neil Wan David Ngao. Anushin Analaki Rabinta Desmond Sim Hao Muhammad Nasrin Ting Abdullah Bachelor of Commerce, Human Resource Management and Management, Ashley Takondwa Tapani. <laughs> Bachelor of Commerce, Management and Human Resource Management, Ellen He Nian Shen.
Lawrence Gone J Way。Rosi Anatoma Sulok, Bachelor of Commerce, Management and Marketing, Adrian Sampang Anat Ambrose. Honey Pian, also receiving graduate certificate in project management, Shannon Chu Wan Ching. Thomas Wong Sang Yong. Elizabeth Ko Ko Ping, Jesse Lau Jia Ling, Caroline Li Yi Xuan. Zhong Li Jia Xian, Ida Yasmin Pinti Rosmadi, Mark Boon Ne En. Joy Wei Jia Yi, Bachelor of Commerce, Marketing and Public Relations, Julia Chua Pei Chi, Bachelor of Commerce, Public Relations and Management, Jacob Tingut Vincent. Bachelor of Commerce, Tourism and Hospitality and Marketing, Chan Yu Ren. Serene Tio Sin Yung. Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of graduates from the Faculty of Business. I would like to now invite Professor Vincent Lee, Deputy Pro Vice Chancellor, Curtin Malaysia, to the lantern to continue the presentation of awards. Chancellor, it is my pleasure to introduce the following graduates from the Faculty of Humanities and Health Sciences. Master of Science, Project Management, also receiving Graduate Diploma in Project Management, Ashley Lai Set May. <laughs> Bachelor of Applied Science, Construction Management with Honours, Zachary Raphael Liu. Bachelor of Arts, Mass Communication, Adiyatu Izian Binti Ismail. <laughs> Mau Hezron Sagau Maran. <laughs> Nor Farzana Binti Nor Hazdan.
Lukman Afiq bin Sharul. Ivy Sia Peyi. Elaine Wong Kin Lin. Muhammad Hami Zikri Lokman Zulfikar Ali. Bachelor of Communications, Gavin Gun Wen Jun. <laughs> Ch Chancellor, we also congratulate graduates in absentia. That concludes the presentation of graduates. I now invite the Chancellor to the lectern. On behalf of the Council of Curtin University, I offer my warmest congratulations to our graduates. The award certificate that you received today recognizes the significant effort that you've made towards achieving your goal, so display it proudly. May I now ask the graduates to please stand while I read the charge. To those of you who've graduated or received awards, I offer the congratulations of the university on your new status, and I welcome you to a lifetime membership to the Curtin alumni community. I now charge you by the common bond that unites us all to uphold Curtin's values of integrity, respect, courage, excellence, and impact. I trust wherever your path takes you in the future, that your life will be happy and fruitful, not only for you, but for also all those around you. It is the university's great honor to remain connected with each of you for many years to come. On behalf of Curtin University Council, I thank you for all for sharing in this celebration. Thank you, graduates. Please be seated. We are extremely proud of the achievements of our graduates. And I now ask all the families and friends in the audience and the stage party to please stand and give our graduates a round of applause. Thank you, please be seated. Now it's time for our graduates to acknowledge you, uh, their families and loved ones for, their, for your unwavering support throughout their academic journey. So graduates, please stand and give your families a heartfelt round of applause. Thank you, graduates. Please be seated. I now invite our host back to the lectern. Thank you and good morning. Thank you, Chancellor. We have now reached the end of this morning's ceremony. And now in just a few moments, there will be an opportunity for photographs and refreshments at the lecture theater foyer. Could you all please stand, ladies and gentlemen, as the academic procession exits the stage. Please remain standing until the event staff and student volunteers guide you out. Graduates will be guided out first, followed by guests. Congratulations to our graduates and good morning. Just come out for the
the right. Oh, my outfit's all tight. You can see my heartbeat tonight. I can take the heat, baby. Best belief, that's the moment I shine. Cause every romance shakes and it bends. Don't give a damn. When the night's here, I don't do tears, baby. No chance. I could dance, I could dance, I could dance. Watch me dance, dance the night away. My heart could be burning, but you won't see it on my face. Watch me dance, dance the night away. I'll still keep the party running, I want that out of place. Lately, I've been moving close to the edge. Still be looking my best. I stayed on the beat, you can count on me. I am missing no steps. Cause every romance shakes in your bands, don't give a damn. When the night's here, I don't do tears, baby, no chance. I could dance, I could dance, I could dance. Watch me dance, dance the night away. My heart could be burning, but you won't see it on my face. Watch me dance, dance the night away. I'll still keep the party running, I want it out of place. When my heart breaks. When my world changes, I don't play safe. Don't you know about me? I could dance, I could dance, I could dance. Even when the tears are flowing, they're diamonds on my face. I still keep the party going, I want to get out of this. Yes, I can. Even when the tears are flowing, they're diamonds yes, on my I face. Can. Yes, I can. I still keep the party going, I want to get out of this. Watch me dance, dance the night away. My heart could be burning, but you won't see it on my face. Watch me dance, dance the night away. I'll still keep the party running, I want to get out of place. When my heart breaks, when my world shakes, I don't play the same. Don't you know about me? I could dance, I could dance, I could dance, dance tonight. Just come along for the ride. Oh, my outfit's all tight. You can see my heartbeat tonight. I can take the heat, baby. Best belief, that's the moment I shine. Cause every romance shakes and it bends. Don't give a damn. When the night's here, I don't do tears, baby. No chance. I could dance, I could dance, I could dance. Watch me dance, dance the night away. My heart could be burning, but you won't see it on my face. Watch me dance, dance the night away. I'll still keep the party running, I want to get out of place. Lately, I've been moving close to the edge. Still be looking my best. I stayed on the beat, you can count on me. I am missing no steps. Cause every romance shakes in your bands, don't give a damn. When the night's here, I don't do tears, baby, no chance. I could dance, I could dance, I could dance. Watch me dance, dance the night away. My heart could be burning, but you won't see it on my face. Watch me dance, dance the night away. I'll still keep the party running, I want to get out of place. When my heart breaks. My world changed. I still a lot of you. I don't play the same. Don't you know about me? I could dance, I could dance, I could dance. Even when the tears are flowing, they're diamonds on my face. I still keep the party going, I want to get out of this. Yes, I can. Even when the tears are flowing, they're diamonds yes, on my face. Yes, I can. I still keep the party going, I want to get out of this. Watch me dance, dance the night away. My heart could be burning, but you won't see it on my face. Watch me dance, dance the night away. My heart could be burning, but you won't see it on my face. 
on, but you won't see it on my face. Watch me dance, dance the night away. Huh? I'll still keep the party running. I want it out of place. When my heart breaks, when my world shakes, I don't play safe. Don't you know about me? I could dance, I could dance, I could dance, dance tonight. Baby, you can find me under the lights, diamonds under my eyes. Turn the rhythm up, don't you wanna just come along for the ride? Oh, my outfit's so tight. You can sing my heartbeat tonight. I can take the heat, baby. Best belief, that's the moment I shine. <laughs> oh, <okay>. <laughs> <laughs> 